and it is now my pleasure to welcome one of the grade 12 students, Abhishri Pillai, to give the first of the two grade 12 student addresses. Thank you, Mr. David. Family, friends, teachers, staff, and special guests, I am extremely honored to be able to speak on behalf of the graduating class of 2022. Connections, according to Google, is a relationship in which a person or thing is linked or associated with something else. For the class of 2022, the connections that we have made during our time, a lifetime for some, here at TKS have imprinted themselves onto who we are now and who we will become. I remember a couple of weeks ago, Mr. McLaren said to our higher level biology class that one thing about our cohort that stood out was that we all seem to truly enjoy each other's company. And I completely agree. Connections have developed over the years as we made more and more memories and inside jokes together. I remember the playground in kindergarten where we used to ride around on small bikes and play with anything for hours. I remember in grade four, where we had a real life wax museum, and, mu wax museum exhibit and dressed up like Mary Curie and Albert Einstein. I remember in grade five, we were reminded of how fast we were growing up as we ended our elementary school years, became sixth graders and teenagers. Throughout middle school, I remember going sailing and snorkeling together. I remember performing on this very stage together. I remember flying to Hungary and Thailand for various international conferences and events together. And then I remember in grade 10, we even pulled an all-nighter together on the day a personal project in Peacup was due. Most of us still showed up to school on an hour of sleep. As we entered DP, not only did we get used to showing up, on an, showing up to school on an hour of sleep, but these connections also grew deeper, stronger, and more vital to each of our successes. Much like a rope, this graduating class is made up of the individual fibers that gift the rope with its strength and utility. If one of these fibers is frayed, the whole rope is at risk of disintegration. We entered our DP years not knowing the obstacles and struggles we would have to overcome. In addition to the intensity of the rigorous learning, we also had numerous personal difficulties to overcome. Like the rope, these connections ensured that when one of us needed support, we were able to provide it, strengthening our overall well-being. We offered each other comfort, assistance, and time, and we have shown up for each other, and we could not have gone through these last two years without one another. We stood together and watched time fly by as it went from our first day of senior year to the last. In between was the parent dinner, where we shared a laugh about the thought of procrastinating our extended essays. Then beach night, or should I say flag pavilion night, where we were graced by Mr. Vish's rendition of Wonderwall and the whole grade singing I Want It That Way. Next was the camp out, where we enjoyed overblown tents and ate up Zaid's perfectly cooked burgers. And the gala, where we learned interesting facts about our teachers and that people can't tell Abigail and I apart as babies. Then finally, the last season of all classes, where we shared heartfelt goodbyes and then the clap out, where we soaked the school as we danced and cheered. Next was exam season, which was a complete blur, during which most of us lived in the university library rooms and calmed each other down before and after each exam. And now we are here at graduation, turning over the last page of this bittersweet chapter in our lives. I know that we mean so much more to each other than we could ever express, and it still hasn't hit most of us how much time has passed and how little we have left with one another. Some call it denial, but we know we're just procrastinating once again, but this time, procrastinating our goodbyes to one another and holding on to each other for as long as we can. As we climb the already strengthened rope that is our life, tightened by the connections we have made along the way, I want to encourage all of you to keep adding twines to the rope that will bond us to a, for a lifetime. Some of us may never come back to this country, this campus, and never again to this moment, but the connection, if the rope is braided tightly, will last. Finally, I'm grateful for the administration staff, the cleaning staff, the IT staff, and the maintenance staff who worked alongside our dear teachers to provide us the privilege of a world-class education. We appreciate every minute of your hard work. This university has been my home and you all, my family, for as long as I can remember. Thank you, KAUST, for every opportunity, every moment of inspiration, and all the knowledge you have gifted us. Above all else, thank you from the bottom of our hearts to our parents for getting us here. 
We love you tremendously, and we hope our future actions reflect the goodness you have braided within us. We will make you proud. And as for my friends on stage, I'm so grateful and proud to be a part of this graduating class, and I look forward to seeing you all in 10 years at our reunion. I cannot wait to see the rope we have braided together during our time here, still intact, strengthened, and connected. Thank you.